Welcome to Dragon Fairy UK. Today I'll be painting an MDF piece from Olifanchi. This piece is a Christmas bauble and can be found on their website, olifanchi.com. The paints I'll be using today are Amsterdam acrylics from Royal Talons, Docrafts Artist acrylics, and Posca pens in black and white. Here I've already painted the back black. You'll notice that I've also painted the tops of the actual bauble black on the piece with the birds. Apologies for my hands getting in the way. It's a long time since I've done a video. I promise my videos will get better in time. With the front painted black, I'm now going to paint over the birds. I'm going to be using the Amsterdam Acrylics Naples Yellow Red Light. As you can see, I'm using quite a wide brush. Whichever brush you use, that's up to you. I just have some favorite brushes and obviously I use those. Now I'm moving back to my background piece, which I'm going to use some of the Docraft Antique Gold. Um, I'm going to water it down slightly and flick splatters over the background. I do like my splatters. For flicking the paint, I like to use an old brush that's been cut quite short, and I find that that splatters the paint quite nicely. Now back to the front piece where the birds have tried quite nicely. For this next piece I am painting the holly leaves and there's also a branch that I shall paint. I've mixed together a little of the jungle green with the golden sun. Um, they're two of the Docraft paints. Um, I like to mix a little bit of each together on the brush and then just see how they go. I just think they look pretty. I'll probably put on the branch a bit more yellow than I am on the holly leaves. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of the Naples yellow onto the head and the underside of each of the birds. Next it's time to paint the branch blue. Unfortunately my video stopped recording and um, so I painted that to nobody. So let's carry on with it already painted. Next using the blue and some conifer green, I am going to paint the birds tummies, trying to keep it darker at the bottom and blending the two colors together towards the top. You'll see the holes in the birds that mark where the wings are. So I'm going to take it up roughly to there. Then I'm going to paint the tails and I am using the craft paints here um, and I am getting it out of the screen. Well done me. I told you it was a bad video. Anyhow, we'll keep it playing for a minute. 
This is called Guess What She's Doing. Here you can see the tails just. And now for the holly berries. There are two lots on this, but um, you only get to see one. Sorry. Back to the orange to give our birds a beak. Always handy. Oh look, middle of the screen and there it goes off to the side again. Very sorry about that. Now I'm adding some bronze to the tails of the birds. And now I'm adding some burnt umber to the birds' heads and onto their wings as well. Um, notice another cut down brush. This one's really handy for doing this sort of thing. I must admit, I do cut my brushes a lot. I cut them so that they do the job I want them to do. Don't be afraid to do the same. Little bit more burnt umber on the tail. And now adding some bronze to the wings on top of the burnt umber and onto the birds' tummies. And now to do the bow on the bird's tail. This is Blackberry by Doe Crafts. By the way, the Doe Crafts paints are available on the Olifanji site. Just a piece of information there for you. So if you're visiting, have a look at the paints as well. And now using the antique gold and going around the edge, or I suppose you could call it the frame of the bauble. That's it, carefully does it. Once this is finished, I will touch up all of the edges, but obviously you won't want to see me doing that. Oh, look, I forgot to do the bird's legs. Touch of orange there, just to finish those off. Always remember, don't be too precious with your paintings. They can always be painted over if something goes wrong. Good old acrylics are good at that. And of course, while you're painting, you might have other ideas as to what to do. So try it. Like I said, you can always paint over it. There we go, all around that edge. 
I'll have to touch up those holly berries again but then I did want the holly berries to come out over the rim so it's no biggie that I've mucked those up a bit and now it's time for the white Posca pen just put in some dots along the branch and time to fill those holly berries in black posca pen out and just having a little play around the bow there Oops, did you see the pen spray a little bit of black on the bow? <laughs> That's all right, you can paint over that once it's dry. A little bit more on the birds, just defining them a bit. Um, you'll probably notice that I do drag the pen around the edge of the outline of the birds. I like doing this because I think it gives them a bit more definition. It's one of one of my favourite little finishy off things. Now I'm just trying the front on the background just to see what it looks like and I'm very sorry that you can't see it very well at the moment. Next video will be better, I promise. Black Posca pen is out again. Just doing some dots around the edge. There we are, all finished by the tidying up and the gluing together. Thank you so much for watching and if you've made it all the way through this video, well done, give yourself a pat on the back. I do promise the next one will be better. Bye for now, see you next time.